And to Lagos, the Commissioner of Police, Lagos State, Abiodun Halabi, has charged the graduating police officers who were trained on human rights and rule of law, code of conduct for Nigerian police force during election time to put more commitment and professionalism while discharging their duties. The hard drive police human rights officers who graduated were trained by the Crime Victims Foundation in Nigeria under an arrangement with the Inspector General of Police. With the aim of promoting human rights to awareness and compliance, police accountability, and police community. Partnership in Public Safety and Security, CP Halabi O Medical, during 41 graduation ceremony of police human rights officers in Lagos. State tax the officers on observance of human rights and possibility change their relationship with members of the public. Halabi added that bail is free and any resident caught in the act of paying for bail will be prosecuted alongside the police officer. I'm here principally to witness the graduation of uh, our officers who are course 41 in the human rights training, human rights and election security management training. It's a way to enhance their capacity and efficiency in their work. So your, your, your other point about uh, somebody giving bribe and taking bribe, I've, I've said it at the opting time that the giver and the taker are guilty of the same offense. And I've said bail is free. But the problem is that Nigerians are not always uh, ready to, you know, to excite patients and fight for their rights. Nobody can force anybody to part with his money. If you, if you part with your money on your own volition, it's all headache. If anybody asks you to pay money for bail and you, say, you, you, you tell the person that bail is free and he doesn't agree with you or maybe he does not uh, release your, 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 your brother for a bailable offense, my office is open. And I want to also let you know that the training we have carried out for these officers have taken them to all the things they are supposed to know about rights of people. If you are a civilian here and you still pay money for bail to police, you are on your own. Because we run a civilian training every Saturday whereby we also have to educate the civilians to demand for their rights from the police. Very important for us moving forward to ensure that we train the police, especially with the emerging review of the various laws, uh, police act and uh, all the necessary laws that guide even the police. The, if you don't know what to do, you can never do it well. So it is very important for them to be told what's what's actually on ground. Every amendment made in the law, they must be abreast with the situation. The Coordinator States Orders Forum on Police Accountability, Okechuku Nwagwa, speaks on human rights based approach to policing and highlighted the roles they can play. I also commend the Commissioner of Police under the able leadership, the Lagos State Police Command, under the able leadership of CPLAB, for embracing human rights training for its personnel. This is a clear evidence of the recognition by the Lagos State Police Command of the importance of human rights as an essential and integral component of policing. It has been recommended by many policing and human rights experts that human rights education should not only be given at all police training colleges nationwide to all officers and men of the force, but that it should also be conditioned president for promotion to any higher rank at every stage. But I hope as we are preparing for the next election, there will be a specific pronouncement by the leadership of the Nigerian police that anybody who gives money or who collects money during election for the purpose of swaying or influencing the vote will be arrested a chance to court. Retired military officers under auspices of retired military professionals.